Hey guys, you're chilling here with Bowler and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Tavern Brawl, a, ga a friendly game of chess. Yes. Now, as everyone knows, chess is a mind game and there's a lot that goes into it, positioning, strategy, wada wada wada. So if you're looking for a more in-depth guide, it's up there. Uh, you can just click on that and you can see how I've done it in Karazhan Heroic because this is pretty much a replay of that. So starting things off, I liked my hand, kept it. Uh, gonna go into the pawn. Now, yes, the Black King does have a distinct advantage purely because of the coin he can play another minion. But I guess that does work out in a way. I assume. I'm not sure. I don't think it's fair if you're going by standard chess rules, but Hearthstone ain't no standard chess. That's for sure. So now, I've got some pawns, and I'm gonna play at both of them. It's gonna help. Now, your hero power allows you to move a minion to the left on your board. So if you've got anything low or anything out of position or not working to your strategy, you can just move it to the left until you, you know, have it where you want it to be. So I gotta clear some stuff out of this board here. There's a lot of problems. I'm gonna move that over because I don't want him to kill it. I want to keep as many minions as I can. Okay, so that one's gone. Right. I've got him down. So let's hope he has something good. Like okay, another rook, right. And we're gonna move that to your left. Oh, so there you go. Right, so that is definitely going to be looking at killing my minion, which I assume he wanted really bad. So I need to start dealing some damage here, I need to start uh, moving stuff out. Now the cool thing about bishops is that they heal uh, adjacent minions, they don't heal themselves and they don't have any attack, but they do heal adjacent minions for 2 health. Which obviously kicks up the duration of your minions, which is great. So now what are you going to play? What are you going to play? That's not too good for me. Mm. Ouch. This is gonna hurt. Okay, one for one. It's fine. One for one. Just keep it like that. Now I need to do some serious damage here. So I'm gonna put it here, I think. Only one way to find out if it's gonna work. Get rid of that, get rid of that. That'll get rid of that, and that'll be fine. Cool. So, his bishop's really low, that's the target that I'm mainly focusing on. Gotta get rid of it. I really don't like it there. And what are you gonna do with that? Move it over, okay. Shouldn't be enough to kill anything, so... That's fine, I have enough now to... Ooh, and I got my queen, sweet. Queen on curve, that is perfect draw. Definitely good RNG. I'm gonna get rid of a lot of stuff here. Works for me. The ball is now in your court. Right, he also has queen on curve. Okay, but now I need to get rid of his queen, because his queen is now my next problem. So I'm going to put that there and I'm going to go face. And that should be enough. Right, board cleared. Hello. Ooh, okay, well there goes my queen. It would be stupid if he didn't, so I can't deny that. Yeah. That sucks. But I'm going to start doing a lot of damage, I'm going to move my little rook over to the left there, and I'm going to start going face. You're on 4 health, buddy. And I'm still good, I'm still going on 10. 
moves to me. Uh, okay, so I gotta get that down again. Right, so... How am I gonna kill this? If I go there, I can kill that minion off, which is fine. Perfect. Another pony. And that's gonna equal it out. So now I've got two major threats on the board on Eagle Rove. His bishop and his pony. And this is gonna suck. I'll put that there. I'm only gonna get two damage. No, okay, I'm gonna put it there. I'll get rid of that. Move that over. Move it over again. I want to have as much damage as I possibly can. And that's perfect. Now mine is safe. And he's in trouble. Okay, now I'm in trouble. But he's in fatigue, so these are his last minions. That I just gotta work with. And I get a bishop. Okay, I'm not going to move anything because I need to get rid of his horse. So, there you go. Fatigue 1. Let's see how this works out. He's got more damage. I've got more duration. Duration always works. Don't let her ever tell you different. Always do for duration. That's what she said. So, damage 2. And next turn is pretty much GG. Awesome, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and comment in the bottom below, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.